I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Brahmas, welcome back. It is Tuesday, the last Tuesday of the first nine weeks. So you should be working on nine weeks test, getting all of your missing assignments turned in. Talk to a lot of kids who've been absent that were kind of unsure of the procedures. We're a nine weeks in. So if you have been absent recently and you have a stack of work that needs to get done, that deadline um, still will apply to that student progression plan. But the hope is that you get that in um, by the end of the nine weeks so that, you know, grade changes don't have to go in and all of that. So be working to complete those missing assignments. Um, just to echo the sentiment from yesterday, it is looking like we are going to run out of dance tickets this week. So I would say if we have dance tickets by Friday, Friday will be the last day that we will have um, them on sale if we even make it to then. Um, if we sell out ahead of time, there is no going over. We have to adhere um, to those number of tickets to make sure that we are complying with um, code um, and not going over capacity. So do not procrastinate. All things homecoming, it is on the horizon coming quickly. You should be working towards getting all of your dress up attire. Just remember that with each dress up day, um, whether that's white lie day or rhyme without a reason, um, that you are participating appropriately. Um, the messages on your shirt should not be suggestive or have anything on them um, that's illegal. So make sure that you are complying with school rules and dress code when you are thinking and planning your dress up days. Um, one of the biggest items that you need to locate this week going into homecoming week is your student ID. You must have your student ID around your neck in order to get into the pep rally and bonfire on Thursday night. Students without it, there is no, hey, go find so-and-so teacher or adult, they know me. Um, there's no time for that. And a lot of adults are working that event. If you do not have your OHS student ID, you will not be permitted in the gate on the home side. You will have to sit on the visitor side with community members. Um, also had a great question yesterday. Several of you have athletic passes. So these are athletic passes that maybe you purchased for $35 or maybe it's 50. I don't remember what the cost is, whatever that the student athletic pass is. Some of them have been given out because you have a 3.5 GPA or higher. This is not an athletic event, even though it's being held in our home stadium. This is actually a class fundraiser event. So we want to make sure that you know ahead of time that you will have to pay for admission there. Um, the the um, bonfire, ugh, I think it's on Ticket Spigot. It might be cash. Um, I'll stay tuned. More information to come. Okay. Um, and then don't forget Alice in Wonderland this Friday and Saturday. I can't wait to see you guys there. I'm really looking forward to that show. Both productions are at 7 p.m. Good morning, everyone. And I have to admit, I have slightly dropped the ball on the seniors. Um, so I am here to remind you, seniors, if you're a senior, please tune in. Do you plan on graduating with a cap and gown and walking across the stage? Mm. Yeah, please, please purchase a cap and gown sooner rather than later. Only like 25 of you in the entire senior class <clears throat> have purchased a cap and gown. Now, last year, I feel like I harassed the seniors so much on the announcements don't make me be that person. Just go buy it. 
go into your email, <laughs> go into your email. Sorry, I have a kid screaming at me to open her water in the background. Um, go open your email and go find the email for me that is the direct link for your cap and gown. Likewise, juniors, if you're a junior, your cap, not cap and gown, mm -mm, nope, class ring. Your class ring orders are due on Friday. And last but not least, PSAT and SAT testing is tomorrow. Okay, that means if you are a student that is a junior or a senior that has a six hour day in the morning, you need to be here at 7 a.m. Because we dismiss to second period and buses at 7 a.m. So make plans to be here by 7 a.m. Everybody. Okay, that's all I got. Good morning, Robin. So I'm going to start off with players of the week from our game against Immokalee. Um, offensive star of the week, senior quarterback receiver Namarian made an 80 yard touchdown run and an 83 yard touchdown reception. Uh, defensive standouts of the week, sophomore Fred Hill recorded four solo tackles and five assisted tackles for a total of nine tackles. Sophomore Matthew May also tallied four solo tackles and five assisted tackles for a total of nine tackles. Special teams performer of the week, senior Karis Johns contributed with three solo tackles, three assisted tackles, and a total of six tackles. Honorable mention goes to Tyrone Hayes and Maxwell Downing for their exceptional blocking and defensive efforts. So, in other news, we have our volleyball game tonight at 5 p.m. at Jensen, or here at home against Jensen Beach. IDs. Uh, tickets are on sale at Ticket Spicket. And back to the bonfire. Bonfire tickets actually go on sale Monday morning. Um, it's a teacher work day, but they will be on sale Monday morning, October 16th. And you can purchase them on Ticket Spicket. And you. that's all I have. Good morning. Uh, freshman, just a reminder. Uh, yesterday, I think we were under 30 for homecoming tickets. So they will be gone probably by midweek. Uh, here's here's a thing that, that freshmen need to understand. If you have something on fines and fees, um, if it's a Chromebook or something like that, you can pay for that here and take that off immediately. If it's a textbook or a library book or something like that for middle school, that you have to go to that school and pay and settle up with them. They will give you a receipt showing that you it's cleared then you can purchase a ticket. So that usually takes a day. So don't wait. Um, if you're not sure whether or not you have any fines or fees, check with Miss Erin. She has the list. She can tell you if you have something you have to take care of because if you have to go and pay for something and then wait to get a ticket and that ticket, we can't hold the ticket for you. So if it sells, it sells. So please do not procrastinate on that. Um, float building kicked off yesterday. Um, there was lots of, there probably be some sore hands from all that napkin twisting I was seeing going on yesterday, but that's in full <clears> progress. <throat> Make sure you have a permission slip turned in if you are planning to stay for that. And tutorial will kick off um, the week of Sept or October the 24th. If you are wanting to attend tutorial, there is busing provided. It is on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, your math teachers have permission slips. We also have them here in the office. So if you're going to attend on the 24th, then that permission slip needs to be in uh, no later than um, the 20th, which is a week from Friday. So go ahead and pick that up, take it home, get it signed. And, um, you know, if you need to get back on track for second nine weeks, um, that'd be a great way to get started. Freshman, tomorrow is our PBIS event. Um, just a few reminders, teachers, I will be sending out a list of those uh, that will be attending as well as those uh, that are not attending and where they need to go. I will also have your list, uh, the wristbands for the students uh, in your mailboxes by this afternoon, so make sure you check that. But please do not distribute those until six period tomorrow. Um, and there'll be more announcements throughout the day about that. Uh, but remember, students, if you have any referrals since September 27th until tomorrow, you will not be eligible to attend. So please be mindful of your steps. Uh, like I said before, if you're on step four right now, remember step five earns you a referral. Um, so just be courteous uh, to your teachers and respectful. Have a wonderful day. 
All right. Make it a good one as together we move forward. Be great. And be Robins. All day. All day. All day. Coach, I can play basketball. Rhyme without reason. Homecoming theme day. Cat. And hat would be an example of that. <laughs>